I'm into this, mate. I've got the lovely fresh flavour of broccoli. I've got a little bit of sharpness. I've got a little bit of saltiness. I've got a creaminess as well. That is a pretty good effort. Now, one of the ways I'm going to prepare this is a simple puree. So to do that, I need this to cook very quickly. I think puree will be one out of the three I think we'll definitely get. So I want to do a, a crumb. So all I'm going to do is shave. The crumb I'm deep frying, so yep. it's going to crisp up. This fascinates me. I've never seen this before. It actually brings texture, but also an almost caramelised sort of flavour to the dish. The stems I'm going to roast in some butter, a bit of garlic and some hard herbs. When I was a teenager, broccoli was quite posh. You just read my mind. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. It is not something that was a common vegetable. It was actually quite expensive. You want to add a little bit more flavour to it. For the puree, it needs to, to be cooked enough that it's going to, to break down and go smooth. Broccoli, if it's not strained properly, it can be quite watery. Lovely, vivid colour. Some cream just to help it get smooth. They need to check uh, their consistency. When they taste, you can see fine if it's still grainy or, or lumpy. Go back into the oven to check on my broccoli. Now, to garnish my dish, it's just a little bit of whipped goat's cheese. With a bit of cream. A touch of lemon zest. I think a little bit of lemon and, and sort of the sharpness of the goat's cheese just brings a, a touch of acid to this dish. That's everything ready for me to go. So, quite simply, spread it onto the plate. Yeah. And then I finish it with my crumb. And there we have it. Broccoli, three different ways, garnished with a little goat's cheese. That is cleverness bordering on genius. Broccoli three ways could be boring if our chefs do not use their imagination. It's a tough challenge. It seems so simple, but yet it's so tough. First up is 30-year-old Ben. Ben, welcome to MasterChef. All right, it's all about cooking, so you'll be fine, right? We can hope so. <laughs> this is the skills test. This one was set by Monica. I would like you to make us a dish showcasing the broccoli in three different ways. OK. And use some of the ingredients on the table here as your garnish. Ben, 20 minutes, off you go. Broccoli three ways, there you go. But you didn't expect that, Ben, did you? No, I didn't, to be quite honest with you. Ben. Have you got a plan? I was feeling about doing a lightly seasoned broccoli puree with a slight bit of cream. I'm going to do some grilled broccoli with a slight bit of honey. And then I'm going to do some poached broccoli seasoned with thyme and lemon. Why did you become a chef then? My granddad was a chef. Um, and he was a pastry chef at the Savoy back in the 70s. What, in London? Yeah. Brilliant. Uh, and after going through school, it's something that I wanted to pursue. You've had five minutes, Ben. OK. Being honest with you, that hasn't worked. I've not put enough broccoli into the puree for starters, so it's just a bit wishy-washy. What can you do to fix it? I can make it into a sauce for the other two components. There you go. Let's do something about it. Yep. So we've got broccoli in the oven with pine nuts. Yes. We've got broccoli boiling there, and now we've got a broccoli sauce. Yes. Gotcha. I've just added a little bit of lemon zest to it. I'm also going to amalgamate some of um, cheese into it, just to give it a little bit more body. Ben, the time has flown. You've got five minutes left, Chef. Yes, Chef. All right, we've got to get this together. 
Yes, Chef. Are you finished? Yes, Chef. You had a, probably a minute or so left over. Ben's dish is boiled broccoli, honey roasted broccoli with pine nuts, and a broccoli and goat's curd sauce. You try to make a puree, mm -hmm. but you added too much water to it. But I like that you try to, to fix it and, and make something else out of it. I am disappointed with the dish. Watching you make the broccoli puree, the broccoli had only been in the water for a matter of a minute. So the broccoli puree was never going to come to life because the broccoli wasn't cooked. I felt you could have shown us a little bit more of imagination. Well, I do like the honey across the broccoli. I didn't think of that. I like the sweet notes. And uh, I think with a better consistency, the goat's curd through the puree might have worked as well. But I think this threw you a little bit. You do have another opportunity to show us what you can do, so don't write off your chances just yet. Thank you very much. It's quite demotivating when you are confronted with things that you know you can do and your head just doesn't cooperate with you. But I suppose that's extreme pressure. Next is Dean a 29-year-old private chef from Scotland. I've cooked for Danish royals, British royals, and billionaires from all around the world. I think I can win this competition because I'm quite original with my style of cooking. This competition is the biggest thing I've done career-wise. feel nervous, uh, excited, and a little bit afraid. Dean, I would like you to use this broccoli to make us a fantastic dish. I want it to be imaginative, to be beautiful, and something quite stunning. How does that sound? Yeah, perfect, yeah. Off we go, Dean, 20 minutes. OK. So what are you thinking, Dean? I'm thinking some pickled broccoli, seared broccoli, and then some fine uh, shaved raw broccoli. Sounds good. Dean, you look very pleased that um, this is a broccoli challenge. It's always quite nice to leave the protein out and use vegetables instead. What kind of kitchen are you working in? A private chef. Uh, so working for um, high-end clients, work all around the world, traveling wherever they, they travel. Wow. Any ambitions to do anything else, or, or you...? Uh, yeah, I do, massively. I want to, um, I want to settle down now and start a restaurant. Why settle down now? Why stop travelling now? My girlfriend has just found out, well, we both found out that she's pregnant. Hey! So I'm going to be a dad for the first time, so... Well done. Congratulations. Dean, you're coming to, to halfway. You're going to be on time by the looks of it. I think so, yeah. I think almost finished. I'm just going to make, like, a little goat's card dressing as such. Dean, you've got five minutes, so you've done very well, but also you've got time to really consider this. OK, yeah. Looking good, Dean. Thank you. I'm just going to put a little sprig of this thyme. You done? Thank you. Dean's dish is roasted broccoli, pickled broccoli and raw broccoli shavings marinated in lemon juice served with roasted pine nuts and goat's curd. This is a pressurised environment, but to you it just looks like home. And that's quite rare to see. I'm into this, mate. I've got the lovely fresh flavour of broccoli. I've got a little bit of sharpness. I've got a little bit of saltiness. I've got a creaminess as well. That is a pretty good effort. I like that dish a lot. I love the acid running through it, the lemon. The broccoli's delicious. I love the fact it's pickled on there. 
It's a dish of sitting under the sun. Nicely put together. And, and just love how calm you are in the kitchen. Thank you. Dean, well done. Off you go. Such confidence in the man. Good start. Such confidence. To get praises from Marcus, Greg, and Monica is, uh, yeah, made me really happy. I was expecting one of the judges to maybe not like the dish or some components on the dish, but um, they all seem to really enjoy it.